Why do you think the strong safety position will fit him better? Why, why was it the right move to switch him there? Well, it's just he's our most experienced third safety right now, so he's the ideal guy. If something happened in the game, we can swing him strong safety and free safety. So just his knowledge of the defense, and he played a couple games for us uh, at strong safety, so he just appeared to be a good fit for us in terms of being our third safety. Can he fit that role athletically with what you need out of a free and also I strong? think so, yes, yes, because he'll be down in the box quite a bit more as a strong safety in our system than free safety. What kind of month is uh, Colvin had? Pretty good, pretty good. You know, he's playing both, playing inside, playing outside. He's pretty good IQ. Uh, his athletic ability really fits both, so he's done a pretty good job so far. How long? Uh, James Sample lost him the other day. How is it uh, going to be tough for him to catch up to speed when he gets back? Anytime you miss the amount of time he's going to miss. He's a pretty sharp guy, so he picked up some things pretty quick. So we just hope he can retain some things and get back healthy, and, and uh, we'll put him back to work. Is there a defensive back that's kind of surprised you so far during OTAs, one of the younger guys? I think Jeremy Harris really improved quite a bit. I know he's. Uh, we hadn't said a whole lot about him, but he's kind of been a quiet um, guy in terms of making plays, but his technique's improved and he's made some plays. So I thought he's really uh, made quite a jump from last year to where he is now. About the young guy, Rashad Reynolds, we haven't seen him since you know training camp last year. What's, what's impressed you about him so far and what are you kind of seeing from him? He's just a solid player. Um, nothing fancy, he's just gonna do his job and he's tough. He has a good IQ, so he's had a, a pretty solid uh, camp so far. You think the strength is back in his hand and wrist where he can you know, do everything that you guys are going to ask for him? Yes. Yeah. yeah, he's fine. Would ideally you guys not prefer to be able to interchange the safeties? Would ideally be able to have the one single eye guy and the one plays in the box? I know that's how Seattle does it. I think our guys are probably a little more interchangeable. Uh, so I think in terms of the type of safeties that we have, we feel like they can play down and play in the deep middle. Something you guys pretty much have wanted to do for a while? Uh, we're just taking advantage of the players that we have and just trying to put them in position to be successful. Could you tell that Evans' shoulder was bothering him last year? Uh, well, yeah, because he had to wear a harness pretty much the whole year, so we knew it was something he had to play with. Uh, but he's a tough guy and he got through it. How do you feel about your depth and safety right now with the sample injury? Well, uh, we have four, four safeties, and I think Daniels has done a pretty good job too for us. And, in terms of learning the defense, and he's done some good things. So we have four. Uh, we get sample back, he'll be five. So we're just going to try to improve the guys that we have. How's Cyprian looking? Uh, more mature. Uh, he's getting a better uh, grasp of the defense and uh, taking more of a leadership role. So I think he's getting more comfortable with things that we're asking of him in this defense. What does he have to make more plays? He doesn't like make interceptions or force fumbles. What does he have to do? He got one today. Yeah, he got one today, so he was real happy with that. So, uh, but I think at his position, when you look at Cam Chancellor, uh, you know, if you're getting two or three interceptions at that position, that to me, that's a pretty good year in terms of getting your hands on balls. What's been your impressions of Sergio? I think he has instincts. You know, he's still learning um, our scheme a little bit, some of the nuances. But I have a feel that he has savvy and he's a pretty instinctive player. Nick Marshall, new position. Uh, how's he come along? Good, you know, he's he's green. He hadn't played corner since junior college, so there's some things from a fundamental standpoint he needs to clean up a little bit, and we need to help him in that area too. But athletically, uh, there's no question he can play the position. Uh, Craig Liston had a nice interception today. Uh, has he shown up a lot? Yes, he's made some plays. He's made some plays. So, again, I think he's feeling more comfortable with what we're doing, and you're starting to see some of his natural athletic ability show up. A guy like Marshall, do you have to have a lot of patience going in, you know, knowing that he hasn't played corner since junior college? Yeah, I don't want to get too many more gray hairs, but, <laughs> but, but you do have to be patient with him. You have to be fair. You have to take your time. There's really not a, a big need for him at this stage of it, but he's fun to work with because of his natural athletic ability. Uh, two, two days in a row now interceptions. Is he, like, taking a jump from last year? Who's that? Lost him. Oh, yeah. No doubt. He, he has a knack of getting the ball. So I think with him, and we knew this about him last year, once he's comfortable with what he's doing, uh, I think he definitely has playmaking ability. Couple more guys. Uh, Did you know him as a good time when he kicked the ball? No, no. <laughs> that was new. <laughs>
Holocrats, what kind of offseason has he had? He's been real steady. Uh, he's really matured this offseason. Uh, he's made some plays. His bumper run's been very clean. So I'm real happy with, with his production so far. Do you think during camp, uh, Pez going, could he work inside at all, or is he just right now just an outside guy? Right now, he's just an outside guy for us right now. Look at your secondary. Okay, uh, I just think we're playing faster. I think we we have guys with intangibles. I think we have guys that can make plays on the ball. So uh, we're not there yet, but I do see improvements.